95% of gamers are sabotaging their own performance without knowing it, and I can prove it. I've personally optimized over 2,000 gaming PCs in the last year, and the same 5 mistakes keep destroying performance on every single one. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what's killing your FPS and how to fix it. Over the past 12 months, I've been documenting every PC optimization I do, from $800 budget builds to $5,000 dream rigs, and here's what blew my mind. A $1,000 PC running like garbage can outperform a $3,000 PC that's set up wrong. Today, I'm sharing the 5 biggest performance killers I see on almost every gaming PC. Before we dive in, here's why this matters. You probably spent $1,500 to $3,000 on your gaming setup, right? But if you're making these mistakes, you're literally throwing that money away. I've seen $4,000 builds performing worse than properly optimized $1,200 setups. That's like buying a Ferrari and driving it with the parking brake on. So here are the five mistakes of cleaning your gaming performance. Counting down from bad to absolute worst. Number one will shock you. It's on 87% of gaming PCs and costs you 30 to 40 FPS instantly. Mistake number five, your RAM isn't running at the speed you paid for. Here's what I see constantly. Someone buys 3200 megahertz or 3600 megahertz RAM, installs it, and it's running at 2133, the JDX standard speed. Or if they're on DDR5, it is at 4800 megahertz instead of 6000 megahertz or 7200 megahertz. The fix takes literally 30 seconds. Go into BIOS, enable XMP or DOCP profile, save and exit, that's it. Watch this, same system, same game, before, 177 FPS average in Black Ops 6, after enabling XMP, 213. That's 20% more performance from a 30 second BIOS change. I've tested this on 30 plus systems, average improvement, 12 to 20% FPS increase. Yet 73% of the PCs I optimize have this issue. Here's how to check yours right now. Open Task Manager, go to Performance, click Memory. If that speed number is lower than what's on your RAM sticks, you're leaving performance on the table. Mistake number four. Windows power settings are choking your hardware. Windows defaults to balanced power plan, which sounds reasonable, right? Wrong. It's actively throttling your CPU to save power. Look at this. Under balanced mode, CPU clocks drop during gaming. Your $400 processor is running like a $200 one to save 10 watts of power. The fix is this. Go to control panel, power options, set your power plan to high performance, or even better, create an ultimate performance power plan using this command. Type this exactly. Results speak for themselves. Apex Legends before, 89 FPS with stutters. After switching to Ultimate Performance, 108 FPS, but are smooth. Valorant gained 22 FPS, Fortnite gained 18 FPS, CS2 gained 15. This single change affects 68% of systems I work on. Mistake number three, your GPU drivers are set up completely wrong. Everyone updates their driver, but ignores the control panel settings. These defaults prioritize image quality over performance, which sounds good until you realize it's costing you 25 to 35 FPS. Look at these default settings. Power management on optimal power, texture filtering on quality, maximum pre-render frames on three. Here's what pros actually use. Power management to prefer maximum performance, low latency mode to on, pre-render frames to one. Watch the transformation. Same RTX 3070, same game settings, before optimization, 194 FPS in Warzone with input lag, after 226 FPS with noticeably snappier response. This isn't just NVIDIA. AMD users have similar issues with Radeon software. Wrong anti-lag settings, improper scaling modes, default fan curves, choking performance. AMD anti-lag should be tested on versus off, Radeon image sharpening off for competitive games, and GPU scaling set to no scaling if you're running a native resolution. Average improvement across all GPUs I've tested, 28% FPS increase just from driver settings. Yet 71% of gamers never touch these options. Mistake number two, Windows bloatware is literally stealing your FPS while you game. Look at this fresh Windows install. 147 background processes running using 23% CPU and 4.2 gigabytes of RAM before you even open a game. Cortana indexing your files, Xbox game bar recording everything, Windows Defender scanning mid-game, automatic updates downloading in the background. Here's the real impact. Launching Fortnite with default Windows, 240 FPS with massive stutters every 10 to 15 seconds when background tasks kick in. The bloatware goes deeper than just apps. Windows has 200 plus services running by default. Print spooler, back service, window search, stuff no gamer needs hogging resources. Now, I'm not saying start deleting everything randomly, that's how you break windows. But there's a safe way to debloat without killing functionality. Disable window search, disable fax, 
disable print spooler if you don't print, remove Xbox Game Bar, Cortana, unnecessary startup apps, and set Windows Update to manual during gaming hours. Same system after proper debloating, 80 background processes instead of 147, CPU usage down from 23% to 6%, RAM usage down 2.1 gigabytes. Fortnite now runs at 240 FPS with zero stutters. That's a lot more FPS just from removing Windows Bloat. Valorant gained 31 FPS, Warzone gained 14 FPS, CS2 gained 19 FPS. The consistency improvement is even more important. No more random lag spikes ruining clutch moments. Here's the crazy part. 89% of gaming PCs I optimize have severe bloatware issues. People spend $2,000 on hardware, then let Windows waste 30% of it on junk. And mistake number one, the absolute worst performance killer I see on 87% of gaming PCs, thermal throttling. Your CPU and GPU are literally slowing themselves down to prevent damage from overheating. You could have the best hardware in the world, but if it's throttling, it performs like budget components. Here's what I see constantly. Dust clogged fans, three year old thermal paste dried to concrete, intake fans fighting exhaust fans, or just not enough cooling for the hardware. Look at these temperatures. CPU hitting 96 degrees, GPU at 89 degrees. At these temperatures, performance tanks automatically. Watch what happens. As temperature rises, clock speeds drop. This RTX 3080 should boost to 1900 megahertz, but it's stuck at 1400 megahertz because of heat. The solution isn't always buying better coolers. Sometimes it's just maintenance, cleaning dust, replacing thermal paste, fixing fan grips. Before optimization, CPU hitting 95 degrees and throttling hard, gaming performance suffering massive drops during intense moments. After proper thermal optimization, CPU maxes out at 67 degrees. After proper thermal optimization, CPU maxes at 67 degrees. GPU stays at 64 degrees. No throttling, sustained maximum performance. The performance difference is insane. Same hardware, proper thermals, Fortnite went from dropping to 58 FPS to getting 360 FPS stable. This isn't cherry picked. Thermal issues destroy performance on nearly 90% of systems. Even brand new pre-builds often have inadequate cooling for the components. Here's how to check your temperatures right now. Download Hardware Info 64. If your CPU goes above 80 degrees or GPU above 80 degrees while gaming, you're properly throttling. Quick bonus round, three more mistakes I see constantly. Using ChatGPT blindly for PC tweaks or overclocking help. Windows game mode disabled. It's actually good now. Turn it on. Running six month old, six month old GPU drivers or using Windows automatic drivers instead of manufacturer ones. So let's add it up. Here's what happens when you fix all five mistakes on a typical gaming PC. Starting baseline, Black Ops 6, 177 FPS. After enabling XMP, fixing power settings, optimizing GPU drivers, and also removing bloatware and fixing thermals, 240 FPS. That's a 35% more performance from the same hardware. No upgrades, no new components, just fixing what was broken. Now, I know what you're thinking. This seems overwhelming. BIOS settings, driver tweaks, thermal solutions. Where do you even start? If you do this yourself, plan on 8 to 12 hours of research and tweaking, plus the risk of breaking something if you're not careful. Or you could have a professional handle all of this in two hours while you watch Netflix. That's exactly what I do for clients. Every single optimization I showed you today done safely and guaranteed. I've literally documented over 100 plus optimizations with these exact results. Average performance increase, 89%. Zero system damage, full support included. Links in the description if you want me to optimize your PC or use this video as your checklist and do it yourself. I respect the DIY approach. Drop a comment with your current FPS in your main game and I'll help you diagnose what might be holding you back. If this helped, smash that like button and subscribe for more performance guides.